miracle of the newest technology. Check out how this place looked 100 years ago. I'm initiator of this project. We sat down with Latvian director who was doing a movie and we're thinking of PR options how to do it and since he's in in virtual reality and it was a new topic for him and that's how we came up an idea of showing history through virtual reality gadget as a technology it's very specific to use in order to use it you still have to put it on your head and that's a barrier for people to do because uh, they feel uncomfortable we came up with a solution to, to change it in, in such a way that you don't have to put it on your head. You can use it just, you know, taking your eyes. That helps you to give a feeling, the atmosphere of how the place was at a certain time. And of course, for exploring the history as close as possible, that's a huge achievement and it's a beautiful tool. Fantastic thing and I wish that these things were like every day on each corner of Riga. It's something unique, it's like, it's very nice, it's very nice because when you're on a set you, you see all the cameras and, and everything and it a little bit changes the, the feeling but uh, in the end you, you can, you can it see it. From it's, a different perspective. Right? It's yeah, like a, exactly. Whole, whole different experience, yeah. That's one of the best ways to use it, isn't it? Of course it is. Right. Yes, yes, modern technology it's like all technology, it can be good for good or good for bad, can't it? That's good. Everything was shot uh, with, the, uh, one, one, with one camera. Usually for this kind of like uh, content, uh, utilize 360 cameras. Yeah, but uh, uh, we wanted to have a really uh, good image quality, which the current crop of 360 cameras doesn't really provide. So we used the uh, high quality red camera for that. And we shot multiple angles for this scene, which were later stitched together in one, one seamless scene. Mm -hmm. And also we had to do a lot of work on uh, environment effects to achieve the depth of fog, to get this foggy atmosphere. And so we had to do a lot of, uh, basically every actor had to be cut out, rotoscoped by hand. And additionally, after that, we of course had to make this uh, Apparatus, apparatus, I would apparatus. say, yes, and uh, which also took a, a while until we found correct uh, displays, correct computer and everything and put together, so it took uh, six months to, to do it, wow. uh, everything, so it was quite an uh, involved job and uh, we got, uh, I would say one year ago we, we wouldn't have possible to make it, but uh, uh, thanks to some new new developments in, in, uh, in uh, technology, so we could make it this year. I'm really happy that uh, Riga manages to do that and uh, it's a town which is brave enough to do such things. We learn a lot from this project and we're moving to the next one and we, we feel we can do more now, uh, even though we're happy with what we have here. So it seems to be a bright future.